I refuse to live in self-inflicted bondage. One of the things that I've really enjoyed about QLA is working with people that you can impact their life and they change their life. And I want to talk about two examples of that this week. That last comment was from Rose Bell. She's from Kenya. She came to the United States, accomplished all kinds of good things. And she ended up breaking up and ending a, a relationship. And she said that she just had so many things she wanted to accomplish that she and this other person didn't see eye to eye on. They were in a relationship. And when I read that that breakup was sad, but I refused to live in self-inflicted bondage, I was uh, struck by that comment like few that strike me. I just thought it was so clear. And the fact that she, one, owned the situation, referred to it as self-inflicted bondage, but more importantly, that she took action to end it. So thank you very much, Rose Bell, for that. It really did impact me. And I've mentioned that to several people, and they said it was like a light bulb going off. The second was from Maurice, and I wanted to read to you what he wrote to me. He said, in this Internet age of endless information, many online, quote, experts, unquote, most of the time untested, sell courses or services that they promise will propel you for your business forward. Bruce is the, quote, needle in the haystack, unquote, that we all want. I worked with Bruce for over a year. He is a task-oriented, genuine mentor who will challenge you to consistently take the effective action steps necessary to accomplish your goals. Over the course of the last year, Bruce's strategic guidance helped my company navigate through a seven-figure lawsuit against a much larger company. Bruce leveraged his personal connections and experience to get me the result we needed. Without Bruce, I would be out of business. Bruce didn't stop there. Since then, he's helped me lay out a growth strategy for more business that has already generated more than a 50 times ROI on what I've paid him this past year. If you're serious about business's growth and willing to take massive action, investing in Bruce as a mentor is crucial, Maurice. I really enjoyed both of those, and I think this may be one of my shortest podcasts, but sometimes a short message is all you need, and I hope that in this case, both those messages ring true for you. Okay, so if you have any questions or comments or ideas for future episodes, please email bruce at brucewhipple.com. And if you're not already on our mailing list, head over to brucewhipple.com and sign up and grab any of the free reports. That'll put you on the mailing list. There is a lot of free information you can use to acquire already profitable businesses. This is Bruce Whipple. Thanks for listening to the Business Acquisition Podcast. And remember, you miss 100% of the opportunities you fail to take. And procrastination truly is the thief of time. So do something today, please. Your future self will be proud of you.